So these are the numbers that the Electoral Commission has put up for the uh, voter registration exercise. We're going to see which region is the biggest gainer and which region is the loser. Uh, we're going to look at it in a certain order. And uh, in doing so, we are comparing the difference of uh, the figures of 2012 and 2016, and especially 2016 and 2020. So here we go. So uh, there is a range in order of um, the highest. So Greater Accra Region came up with the highest number of registered voters in 2012 and 2016 and 2020 as well. So Greater Accra has been leading the league table since the year 2012. And Ashanti Region has come second since 2012. In 2012, 2016, 2020, Ashanti Region. Eastern Region is third as well in 2012, 2016, 2020. Western Region follows in that order. Central Region, Northern Region. And uh, when we say Northern Region here, as I explained earlier, we have put together the savannah, the um, northern region itself, and the northeast, just so that we can have a, a clear comparative analysis with other election years, 2012 and 2016. Bono-Hafo region, again, we have put it together. We have uh, the Bono, we have the Ahafo and Bono East all together as one. Volta region, also we have put it together as the regular Volta region and the OT region, so that we can have a great comparative analysis. So that's Volta region over there. Upper East region, Upper West region, not much has changed. And then we have the grand total. So let's see what has happened. So Greater Accra region, and let's pick it, say, from 2016. In 2016, Greater Accra registered 3,115,000 uh, 3, uh, and the rest. And in 2020, Greater Accra registered 3,500,805. Uh, uh, so the, the addition, and I have to say that every region in 2020 have added. Every region in 2020 has added. We're going to do different levels of analysis so we get into uh, some of the fine details. But every region in Greater Accra in, in, in Ghana has added. So you can see on your screen uh, on, the, on the far right, the red column on the far right is the various additions. So the first one you see is uh, 394,000. That's the addition that Greater Accra uh, region has had. They have added as much as that and they added the most. In the, in the analysis. The region that added the next highest was the northern region. And, and then the, I talked about that. That's interesting. So Greater Accra is number one. So if you're going to do a league table of who has added the most, you have Greater Accra one, and you're going to have the northern region as two. Greater Accra has added 394,549, uh, almost um, uh, 400,000 of additional registered voters in Greater Accra for the 2020 election upon the figures of 2016's election. That's very interesting. So we're going to spend some time on Greater Accra tonight. But who is second? It's not Ashanti, it's not Eastern, it's not Western, it's not Central, but it is the Northern region. The Northern region here has added 203,000. So Northern region's figures in 2016 was 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 270,917. That was Northern region in 2016. Northern region in 2020 is 1,631,580. That's Northern region in 2016. Northern region comes up as the second largest uh, addition to the voters' uh, registration rule, uh, 203,000 uh, uh, voters have been added to the northern region. And here, for comparative analysis sake, the northern region means the savannah, the northern region, and the northeast. So we're going to do, spend some time and try and understand who is gaining when the northern region is adding and who is gaining when greater Accra region is adding. That's the political analysis we're going to do. How are we going to do it? We're going to backtrack and sort of look at what has happened. Okay. Now, Ashanti region has added 139,000. So Ashanti region continues in the league table to be the second region with the highest number of registered voters. Um, and they added 139,237. So Ashanti region moved from 2.8 million in 2016 to now 3,013,856,000. Ashanti region, 3 million. Um, and then um, Greater Accra Region 3.5. So Ashanti continues to be the second region with the highest number of registered voters. And they have added, upon the 2016 figures, uh, 139. Okay. Eastern Region have added 22,000 only. Eastern Region have added 22,000 uh, to their list, and they still are third on the league table. They complete with a voter registration of 1.6 million. That's 1,628,180 for the Eastern Region. That's, that's Eastern Region uh, coming after Ashanti Region. Western Region comes 
as a third place on the league table. In addition, they have added 68,000. When we say Western region, we are talking about Western, Western North, and uh, regular Western region. So, um, uh, Western region, we are talking about regular Western region and Western North, two regions put together for the purpose of the analysis. But that have been split now to give Ghana the 16 region that we now have. 68,000 has been added to Western region. And um, uh, tonight we're not analyzing re Western region, but that's it. 68,000 has been added. Okay, Central region also came up with an amazing figure. Central region have added 160,000. On the league table, uh, they remain faith. They have added as much as 160,000 voters over the four years to their electoral roll. And they come up now with 1,566,061. That's the central region. Of course, we have talked about the northern region with the second highest addition, and that's 203,000. And uh, the Bono Hafo region added 149,316. It would appear that the biggest loser in the 2020 event, you have Volta region that has added uh, the, the lowest, which is 508,000. Volta region has recorded in 2016 1,000,000. 282,306. In 2020, Volta region, the number of registered voters recorded is 1,282,814, an addition of 508 votes, uh, voters to the electoral roll in the Volta region. And then we have Upper East has added um, uh, 4,000. 942. Another big addition is the Upper West Region, which has added uh, 64,000. Western Region has added 64,000. Uh, but Western Re uh, Upper West Region has added 64,000. But Upper West Region added 37,000 in 2012. Now let's focus on this column, the first red column. And let's just have a look at something. It's the purpose of the analysis. So this is 2012 to 2016. You'll see that the additions here are greater. We will come and look at the grand total and then we understand it. But the additions here for every region is actually much greater. So Volta region, for instance, in 2012 to 2016, added 115,000. Uh, Ashanti region added 295,000. Greater Accra region added 295,000. Eastern region added 163,000. Western region added 147,000. Central region added 165,000. Um, Northern region added 151,000. So if you look at this column, you will find that the additions from 2012 and 2016 are sufficiently greater than the additions that were made uh, for, for the um, 2020, uh, 2016 to 2020. So the total number of additions to the electoral roll 2012 to 2016 was 1.5 million. That's the last figure. Here. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's 1.5 million, 1,598,000 and um, 579. And then for 2020, the total number that has been added is 1,206,000. So if you look at this, this roll, I think that the voter registration exercise was justified. You can see that there has been a trimming of the voter registration uh, 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 album. The portfolio of uh, le registered voters in Ghana has been trimmed, at least on the 2020 register. We'll see it in some detail when we come. But wait for the real political analysis. We're going to talk about who is, who is benefiting and who is losing. Let's go to the next slide. And uh, we put up now. OK, so we're looking now at what we call the grand total of registered voters from 2008 up to 2020. And uh, that's this interesting. So, uh, 2008, we had 12 million people on the voters' register. Um, 2012, we moved to 14 million people on the voters' register. Um, the difference between 2012 and 2008 was an addition of 1.6 million. That's very important. Keep it in mind. Ad from 20 2008 to 2012, the addition was 1.6 million, 1 million 686,132. Over the four-year period of the election cycle, the Ghanaian voter registration portfolio moved up by 1.6 million. That's up to 2012. Let's move on. So 2016 brought 15 million people. Now the difference between the 2016 and the 2012 voter registration exercise actually went down to 1 million, 1.5 million. So 2012, 2008 to 2012, we added 1.6. 2012 to 2016, we added 1.5. That's, that's going down, actually. So that's 1,598,579. Now guess what? Have a look. This is interesting. So from 2016 then to 2020, see what we added, 1.2 million. 
That's interesting, isn't it? I, 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 can, you, can you put this up? Sorry. Can you put this up on the, uh, on the, on the diary screen so viewers can see? Let's check it. Okay, yeah, so there it is. That's clearer. So you can see it now. So you see the first red, 1.6 million. That's the, um, the addition from 2008 to 2012 on the electoral roll. The next red box, you can see it, 1.5 million. That's the addition from 2012 to 2016. And there you have the amazing figure of 2020's addition coming down by 300,000 of the last one, 1.2 million. That's the justification, we think, for the purpose of the voters' register. If the voters' register hadn't come, we certainly would have had a register that is not reliable. That's a register that we were expecting it to grow, but a register that has gone down. So probably we can say that we have been going towards a much more credible register from 2008, 2012, 2016. That has been the story of our democratic experiment. Election cycle after election cycle, we have been going towards a more credible process. Of course, we know that from opaque ballot boxes to transparent ballot boxes, we have been moving on and on to voter ID card, biometric, etc. Now we have fingerprint and eye and all of that. So we've been moving well, and it appears that we have been actually moving well in the voters' register as well. The addition is quite minimal. Let's look at the next slide. And I think that we are getting into the politics now. Okay, so now here is the, uh, for the 16 regions of, of, of uh, Ghana, this is the final outcome that Electoral Commission has put up. And we are putting this slide up because in our earlier slides, we had presented it as 10 regions for the purpose of the analysis. So here we are, Greater Accra region number one. In the league table, it has 3.5 million. Ashanti follows with 3.13. Eastern region follows with 1.6. Central region is fourth. Western region is fifth. Northern region is sixth with, however, the, one, the second highest number of registered voters adding onto the electoral roll since the year 2016. Voter region is seventh, however, with the lowest number of, uh, of voters adding onto the electoral roll. That's Volta region on seventh. Upper East region is eighth. Uh, Bono region is uh, fourth. And uh, um, of course, um, Volta region is, is southern Volta, and because we're doing 16 regions. So the Bono region is fourth. Bono East is up there. Upper West region is 11th. Western North is 12th. OT region is 13. I have four is 14. Savannah is 15. And North East. So this is the slide on your screen now. You can see that is for all the 16 regions. Just so that if you want to check, um, you can have a look at it in this manner. We have pre presented it as 10 regions for the purpose of the comparative analysis. Let's move on and see what we have. Okay, so we are now going to analyze the league table of the voters register and how it has been changing over the years. Uh, not much has changed, I should say, uh, but for the academic purposes, we put it up anyway. So this is the 2012 a league table of uh, voter register for 10 regions. Greater Accra leads, Ashanti is next, Eastern comes, Western, Northern, Brohahafo, Central, Volta, Upper East, and Upper West. So this is the league table of 2012. The highest at the top and the lowest at the bottom. Greater Accra registered the highest number of voters. You can see it over there. Ashanti came next, Eastern came next. That's for 2012's election. Let's come and, and see 2016's league table. Uh, something is changing, isn't it? Yeah, something is changing. There are a few changes in the third and fourth position. Greater Accra continues to lead Ashanti, Eastern, Western, Northern region. That's well in 2016, jumping up to the fifth position, and that's where the rise of the northern region number of voters began. In 2016, northern region does sufficiently well. Uh, Bonafo region is sixth, seventh, is central region, Volta region, upper east and upper west. So let's move on and see 2020's league table, and we're going to look at it as 10 regions uh, again for the purpose of the comparative analysis. Greater Accra starts with 3.5, impressive, I have to say. Also, Greater Accra recording the highest number of additional voters, 315,000, followed by the Northern Region. Tonight, we're going to analyze who is benefiting from the Greater Accra addition and also who is losing from the Greater Accra addition between the NDC and the NPP. And we're going to take the historical data and do a comparative analysis so that you can make your own conclusion. Greater Accra is going to come up for bigger discussion tonight, right now, right here. Ashanti region is next, and that's 313,000. Western region follows, so that's Western plus Western North gives us uh, the figure of 1.6. They are third on the league table. Uh, the fourth is the Northern region, Northern Savannah, Northeast. They are fourth on the league table. Uh, the fifth is Eastern region. They are fifth on the league table. Central region is sixth on the league table with an impressive um, 1.5 million voters adding 
as much as 139 uh, voters on electoral. We can see clear on our screen now, beautiful. Uh, I, I think you like our colors, don't you? We put in great colors so that you can see. All right. And hopefully the colors don't represent any political party, do they? Let me check. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, great. All right. So Bono Ahafo region is seventh, and uh, they are over there. Bono, Bono East, and Ahafo together, they come seven. Volta region means uh, Volta and OT region, and they come eighth, ninth, is upper east, upper west. Okay, let's run through quickly. Let's go to the next slide. So now we come to the Greater Accra region. That's the big deal. That's obviously the big deal. And many analysts, after the voters' register was published, have said that if you can deliver the Greater Accra region substantially, you have delivered the elections. That's not only true for 2020. It was true to, for 2012, and it was true for 2016. And there's a, there are magic numbers tonight that you have to look out for. Magic, magic numbers on the screen right now. Okay, let's start. So 2012 analysis is here. In 2012, of the total number of registered voters in the region, as you can see on your screen, John Dramani Mahama picks up one uh, total number of registered voters being in the first column, 2.8 million, so that's 2,819,678. Uh, John Dramani Mahama picks up 1,121,000. 578. Guess what it represents 52% of the votes in the Greater Accra region is carried by the NDC presidential candidate and he carries the day as well in the national election. Now, keep an eye on 52%. Don't forget 52% of John Dramani Mohammed's electoral fortunes in Greater Accra represented a comfortable lead in Greater Accra. But keep an eye on 52% because 52% repeats itself in 2016 in the opposite direction. Greater Accra is a spiritual our constituency. You, I don't know. We put the figures together and we saw it and we said, wow, this is interesting. So keep an eye on 2012. We are still on 2012. In the second column, John Dramani Mahama picks up 1,121,578 votes, representing 52% of the votes in the region. Look uh, below that. You see Nana Kufado picks up 1,103,000 113,960, representing 47% of the votes in the Greater Accra region. Let's move on. Shift to 2016. Beautiful. 2016 now, Greater Accra has registered 303,115,256. Now, check it out. John Dramani Mahama, same candidate, now picks up 946,000, representing what? 47% NDC and MPP. 47% over here. And then Nanado Dankwa Kufado picks up 1,062, representing what, 52% of the vote. So Akufado picks up John Mahama's 52% in 2016. John Mahama picks up Akufado's 47% in 2012. Uh, sorry, Akufado picks up John Mahama's 52% from 2012. In 2016, for himself, John Dramani Mahama uh, goes down and picks up Akufado's 47% in 2012 for himself. So the magic number for Greater Accra Region is that. If a presidential candidate, either of the NDC or the MPP, is able to nudge it at 52% in Greater Accra region, I can assure you that you have won the national election. That's the analysis. That's why Greater Accra is important. The candidate and the trend is 2012 and 2016. We don't think that trend is going to change. If at all, it's going to be enhanced because Greater Accra has increased the number of votes. So, presidential candidates and your team, keep listening. Look at Greater Accra region. Fight for 52%. If you hit the magic number on election night, 52%, call me. And I'll announce right here that your party has won the election. Because that's the trend. That's, how it's, that's what's going to happen. It's not going to change. It's going to happen like that. 52% for Greater Accra Region, you have won the election. Okay, how are people going to get 52%? Let's get into Greater Accra Region. Look at the constituencies. See where the numbers are and see where the, the both, both parties are going to get their 52% from. So we know this. 52% is the magic number for Greater Accra Region. You get it, you win it. You don't get it, you get 47, you lose it. It happened in 2012, happened in 2016. It's going to happen again. Let's move on. What do we have now? Okay, so these are the constituencies in Greater Accra region that the NDC have always won. All the time they win it. So if you are NDC, you have to keep these constituencies. If on election night results are coming in and there are indications that you are losing any of these constituencies, you are heading for your 47%. So these constituencies have been won by the NDC since 1992 in the election. They have always been won by six of them in Greater Accra and NDC must keep them. 
So if we are analyzing on election night and results come from any of these places and it shows a different trend, then we know that the ninth doesn't portend very well for the party that is losing a stronghold in Greater Accra. What are these strongholds? Ningo Pram Pram, number one, NDC always wins it. Pon Katamanso, number two, NDC always wins it. Shai Osudoku, number three, NDC always wins it. Ada, NDC always wins it. Sege, NDC always wins it. Ayawaso North, NDC always wins it. So NDC, these are your constituencies for Greater Accra. You can't lose any of the constituencies here. And let me hazard, I guess, Sam George is in Ningo Pram Pram. Uh, I'll get the names of the other, other people when we get to the other analysis. But this is, this is the thing. This NDC, this is yours. There are six constituencies in Greater Accra that you cannot lose. Any shaking over there, you are in trouble. You have to keep these constituencies. If you are losing these constituencies on election night, we know where you are going. Let's go and look for the MPP strongholds in Greater Accra region. Okay. So MPP strongholds in Greater Accra region are seven constituencies that they have always won. And MPP, if on election night you're losing any of these constituencies, you are in trouble. You have to know that. These ones, you have to grab them, hold them, put them back, and you have to win them convincingly as you always win. Domi Kwabenya is one, Ajoa Safu. MPP always win it. If they're losing it on election night, they're in trouble. Tama West, MPP always win it. Carlos Ahinkra, that's his constituency. Okaikwe South, M MPP always wins it. Okaikwe North, MPP always wins it. Ablekuma North, MPP always wins it. Ablekuma West, MPP always wins it. Tema Central, MPP always wins it. That's Titus Global's constituency. Now, so there you are, seven constituencies for MPP, six constituencies for NDC. In the most populous region in Ghana, the Greater Accra region, both parties must keep it. On election night, we're going to monitor it closely, and if something is changing, then we know that something is changing for the fortunes of that party since 2016. Now, so these are the strongholds of the two parties in Greater Accra. Let's get to the swing ones, those that they sort of share. Beautiful. That's the interesting one, and there are seven. So there are six constituencies that NDC always win, they have to win. There are seven constituencies that MPP always win, they have to win. And there are seven constituencies that are swing between the two of them. That's where the battle is. That's where we're going to look out for. That's where we're going to find out who is winning. Lejokuku is Dr. Okoboy's constituency. That's a swing constituency. It's a very large constituency. And, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's also an important constituency. Lejokuku is the Teshi area. Kroa is the Nungwa area. That's Honorable Afole's constituency. Dadekotopon is here in Laboni, Labadi. That's another constituency. Klote Kole is Dr. Zanato Rollins' constituency. Medina is the constituency of, um, of the Honorable... Uh, ah, his name is not coming. But the NDC candidate is the Boniface. Boniface Siddiq is Medina. The NDC candidate is the lawyer. Uh, who had difficulty but who is out now. He's the Medina uh, NDC candidate. Ablekuma Central, Ayawaso West Wogon. Ayawaso West Wogon is John Dumelo versus Madame Al Hassan. So these seven constituencies are swing. So on election night, if we check who is winning the swing constituencies, it gives us a fair idea of where this battle is going. That's very interesting. Okay, let's look at another slide as I get the signal that we have to be wrapping up at this stage. Okay, uh, so this one, you can look at it on our Facebook page. We don't have enough time to go through it, but it's showing you the results of all the constituencies and why we say that something is swing or something is always won. This one, we don't have time for the analysis. Let's move to the next one because we have to be wrapping up at this stage. Uh, Chairman to me is ready. Okay, this one also is 2016. It's a very similar data uh, that we put in. So this is how we came to the conclusion of the, uh, the swing and the, and the strongholds. So you can look at it on our Facebook page later on. Let's move on. And, um, okay, so these are constituencies that uh, you can say, you, you can say that it's a stronghold of one, but the other one has won it before, but they won it only once, a long time ago. So Ododio Dio is one of those. The MPP won it only in the year 2000. Since then, they have not won it. So we are not able to call it an NDC stronghold. But NDC have been winning it since the year 2000. Since 2000, MPP have never won it. So that's Ododio Dio. It's in Greater Accra. It's one of those. It's a constituency by Neil and Tip Van der Poel. He's the MP. A chairman, MPP won it in the year 2000. They've not won it again. Never won it again. So we don't know how to call a shaman, but that's what it is. It's a pseudo MPP, NDC stronghold because since the year 2000, NDC have been winning it. The next one is Tema East. 
NDC have won it only once in 2012. Since then, MPP have been winning it all the time. MPP have been winning since 92, and in 2012, NDC won it. So these are those, there are five of such constituencies. I'm a Saman, MPP have won it only in 2004, and since then, they've never won it. Ayawaso Central, NDC won it in the runoff in 2008, and since then, they've never won it. So these are those constituencies that are also swing but they actually swing more to one party. Ododododio swings more to NDC. Ashama swings more to NDC. Tema East swings more to NPP. Abasaman swings more to NDC. And Ayawasu West Central swings more. Okay, so let's see what's next. Um, all right, okay, so that's, that's the analysis. Uh, and that's, that's where we bring the curtain down on the touch screen analysis. I hope that you have uh, really enjoyed this one. Uh, so that's it, uh, to be on the Facebook page and you can look at it. This is our first stage of the analysis of the uh, Electoral Commission's figures. So now you know what portents in Greater Accra, who's going to win, 52% is the magic number.